Google is truly a master of online certificates, and luckily for us, we can get them completely for free, and we can leverage these to get better jobs, to improve our career, and get the jobs we truly desire. So, in this video, I'm going to show you a really powerful one, and the Google IT Automation with Python Professional Certificate. And I'll go through exactly how it works in detail so that you can see if it's something for you. Um, I go through some super important stuff and essentially everything you need to know before taking this, if you're considering taking this, or maybe you should consider taking this one. So if you do miss these things, it's gonna be really hard. So just watch this video, like for real, you're gonna save so much time if you just watch this video. My name is Lucas, by the way, and I run this channel helping you level up your career right now without having to just rely on experience or degree. So just before we get into this really quick, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I post videos just like this every single week, helping you level up your career. And if you're interested in that, then you're at the right place. So I really appreciate your support and that's pretty much it. Let's get right into the video. All right, so I'm just briefly gonna introduce you to the certificate and then we're gonna go through the weeks in a bit more detail and then also explore the potential projects that you'll be doing in this course. And also I'll, in the end, I'll give you a full summary and everything you need to know to get started or if you even should get started. So make sure you stick around until the end. Now, I'm just gonna really get right into it. So here we have the, uh, the certificate. It's available on Coursera. And um, as you can see, it's offered by Google, but available on this platform, which is not Google. And um, I'll just get into the, the really simple things first. So you can enroll for free, but normally you will have to pay a subscription fee of, I believe $39 per month. Um, but again, they have financial aid, depending on your circumstances, available there. Um, and as you can see, if you compare this one to, for example, the um, Google IT support or something, it's a, a lot less people that are taking it. I believe it's about half of them, but it's still a super popular certificate. I mean, it's still 500,000, but only 30,000 have actually completed a final review, which sort of hints that a lot of people potentially don't complete this certificate, which is why it's also super important that you watch this video and that you understand if this is actually something for you and if you should really do this. So um, if we just get started, then there are a few things that you really should keep in mind. And it's basically that it's beginner level. It's approximately six weeks um, to complete, around 10 hours per week. Now I do want to inform you that I have completed certificates like this much faster and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to complete it in six months. That's just an estimate if you complete it at 10 hours per week, but a lot of companies like Google and stuff, they offer a lot of materials in the courses that you don't necessarily have to complete, um, which is also something to keep in mind that if you want to complete it faster, you likely can. Now, here are some of the skills that you'll gain. The, the um, a few different programming skills, some different data structures, Python in general, of course, because it's with Python, and um, a few, you can see more of them. Well, it's only one here, but you know, as you can see, here's some more information about what you will actually learn, just some general information. We'll get into the weeks in a second. And as you can see, uh, analyze real world IT problems, implement the appropriate strategies to solve those problems, automate tasks with Python, manage IT resources at scale, um, use Git and GitHub for version control. So just some general, some pretty, pretty basic things as you can see beginner level, but of course they will also offer you projects and stuff, which I'll show you right now. So let's scroll down a little bit uh, some about, and then you can read about the applied learning project, which we'll dig down into soon. Um, so here's the courses. Let's actually go into them in a bit more detail. The first one is going to be crash course on Python, and then it's going to be using Python to interact with the operating system, and then introduction to Git and GitHub, troubleshooting and debugging techniques, and configuration management and the cloud, and a final like sort of um, capstone project, which is like a the one you saw over here, the applied learning project. Um, and what it basically is, is like a thing where you put together all the things that you've learned in your certificate and you put them together into one thing, um, which you can then use in your portfolio and show to employers and also just get some real world, world, real world experience, which I think is really great, especially with these practical certificates um, that they give you a lot of like the theoretical knowledge first and then they also make you apply it. And that's super important, especially for IT jobs. Um, or more specifically programming ones like this. So the first course, here it is. Um, we'll, we're just gonna skip all of this and head right down into the more specific things. 
So some basic Python syntax, loops, hello Python, just basic Python skills that you will need to have. Um, Object-oriented programming, a way of programming basically, um, string lists and dictionaries, just some basic things in Python, some data structures or well, strings, yeah, okay, I guess not. Um, so that's pretty much it. Let's head into the second one. Uh, let's take a look. Getting your Python on, managing files, regular expressions, managing data and processes, testing in Python and bash scripting, and then a final project. So I think, I believe uh, at least on a few of them, you actually have a final project at the end. Sometimes it's just a test. Sometimes it seems to be a final project. We'll take a look. This is the next one. Uh, it's called introduction to Git and GitHub. As you can see, just some introduction to Git, um, collaboration, possibly on Git. I suppose that that's what they mean. Um, troubleshooting, let's see about this one. Troubleshooting and debugging techniques. Let's scroll down. Troubleshooting concepts, slowness, crashing programs. This is just basically errors that you can encounter when you're programming in Python. And that's what they'll show you in this one. Because it's, it's of course super important because it's all about ID automation with Python. So if you don't know how to fix errors, then what are you doing? F fix errors. Um, the next one is going to be configuration management and the cloud. And just really quick, like as as you can also see, a lot of these build on top of each other, which I'll talk about later. But it's just like you you can be a complete beginner and go into this, and you know you don't necessarily have to know any of this because you'll get the knowledge as you go on. But I do have some some objections to complete beginners trying this course, which I'll tell you about really soon. So stick around. Um, but 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 before I tell you that, I just want to show you like the uh, the second to last course, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's see. And as you can see here, let's take a look. Automation, uh, automating with configuration management, deploying Puppet, automation in the cloud, and managing cloud instances at scale. So. The final thing, the project, and this is really interesting, really, really, really interesting. So, as you could see, you you were you did do some kind of practical things uh, in the courses. Like, of course, you you have some small projects and things that you do, but this is the applied learning project. So it's the main project of the entire course. And what that means is that it's um, it's just a bigger thing that you spend a lot of time on. And um, as you can see, I'm I'm not going to spoil it too much, but um, you will get to do some 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 things uh, involving IT automation with Python yourself. Uh, it's it's guided, so it's 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 basically like a guided project, which they also have on Coursera. I'm not sure where uh, there guided projects. So it's basically like a guided project, but uh, sometimes you're able to put uh, shoes a bit a bit of the stuff yourself, and sometimes it's it's more guided. But you'll find out. The important thing is that it's very valuable to do to some something like that, and you'll also you'll tackle real world scenarios and tie together the concepts, and that's super important because um, it's it's just going to give you a much more complete thing rather than just doing. Uh, and as you can see, people are super happy. Like this course is excellent, an amazing conclusion. Um, now the boring stuff is not boring anymore. Thank you, Google. I learned a lot, uh, lots of different techniques. Highly recommend this course for those interesting in automating the daily task, blah, blah, blah. Um, super interesting. So now I've showed you the basic outline of this course and I want to actually dig a bit deeper. So whether you should take this or not. And that's why I'm bringing out my interesting pen. And today I'm picking the color green. Do you like green? Let me know in the comments below. Very engaging discussion here. We're talking about Google IT automation and I ask you a question about the color green. Yes, I just did that. So this is the color green. That's an L for my name. And um, essentially what I want to just talk about really quick before we end this is, should you take this? So conclusion, I would say that it's definitely a really good option uh, for a lot of people. It's a, a really good option. I would say that if you are a complete beginner, it might not be necessarily the best option because it's a bit specific on IT automation. And if you have no like computer skills um, or programming skills, but more computer skills, of course, as well, um, it might be a little bit tough because you're diving right into automation and you might have to 
it might actually be better to start with something like um, introduction to Python or something just to really get a grasp of programming um, and what you're going to be doing because it's of course a little bit more it's a little bit specific part of Python like a very practical part of it um, I think it's a really good thing to start with practical stuff but just keep that in mind that if you're more sp interested in learning a bit more deep theory maybe it's better to start with a course like um, the one offered by for example University of Michi Michigan um, they have one that's like um, introduction to Python, you know, beginner Python, that kind of stuff, that might be a better option. Um, so it depends on who you are. If you're like a beginner, it could work. If you're a complete beginner, maybe this is better, but this could also work. Now, if you're interested in this specific thing, I think it's a really good thing. And I think it's offered by Google. So it's Google, or it's definitely credible enough. Check on that one. Um, it's long enough. It's six courses, well, five plus a learning project, six, uh, five plus a project and I think that's really good you'll get some practical um, practical experience and I think that's very nice as well since you'll also do some git and stuff you'll start building your portfolio um, portfolio with projects and you can also put the practical project into that portfolio so I think it's a really good thing if you're getting started um, definitely definitely look into this one but also make sure that you check out other options if you're more interested in learning in another way because this is one way of learning python um but there's other ways of learning python and make sure that you you, you know that before you get started that's it for this video uh, if you liked it please make sure to leave a like and subscribe i post a video like this every single week to help you land your well dream dream job or level up your career basically um, I also run a remote job resource website, uh, remotejobresources.com, so check that out in the description. We have some free stuff for you there, and um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, please leave a like and subscribe. My name is Lucas, and I'll see you in the next video.